Mississippi Senator Thad Cochran is among those urging Reno to ask for an independent counsel. And tonight, Cochran is in the GOP TV spotlight with Cliff May. Senator, with the hearings resuming, what's going to be the focus now in the, day, in the days ahead as you see it? Well, I think what we've seen already is clearly indicative of a campaign that erased the line between governing and politics. I mean, usually in a political campaign for president, we see a Republican National Committee or a Democratic National Committee off to the side doing what they're doing separate and apart from the president's efforts to make policy and carry out the laws that Congress passes. What we saw here was an intermingling of all of that and an erasing of the line that sometimes arguably is blurred, but this administration erased it. They used the White House as a political campaign headquarters. They used it as a way to raise money and as a place to raise money for the re-election of the president. We have the president on tape now, has come out before our committee saying that the money raised and would be contributed at these coffees would be used by him to help in his campaign through the Democratic National Committee. He explained why he thought it was proper. Well, I think the judgment now is that it was not proper, and it's further justification for there being an independent counsel to look further into it. Well, that's a question people may have. Is it just a matter of propriety, or is it a matter of illegality? It's a violation of law, and that's why this administration is incapable of investigating itself to make that determination, and that's the critical point. There is a, an inherent political conflict of interest between the attorney generals managing and overseeing this investigation and one being done by an independent counsel and investigator. That's why I think it's inevitable. It's not a matter of whether there will be independent counsel, but when. Well, why do you say it's inevitable? What if Janet Reno continues to say, as she had, I'll make this determination as I see fit, and right now I see no reason for an independent counsel. I'm doing just fine on my own. Well, even Democrats are now calling for the appointment of an independent counsel. They know that this is not something they want to defend. They don't want to explain why there isn't one. President Jimmy Carter, this past weekend, as you may recall, said it's time for an independent counsel. I think many others are going to be calling on this president to do what's right and the attorney general to do what's right. And when you say calling on the president, in other words, the president could do as he did in Whitewater and say to the attorney general, his attorney general, I think you should have an independent counsel. Look well, at this could, just to clear it all up. And just because she keeps talking about the definitions in the independent counsel statute, uh, even when there wasn't an independent counsel statute, independent counsel were asked to look into things that were politically sensitive, where obviously there was a conflict of interest. And this is the most clear conflict of interest that I can remember. And if she continues to stand firm and says, I just won't do it, I'm sorry, does Congress have options? Well, of course they do. In the House of Representatives, there can always be articles in a, of impeachment filed. But right now, I think the question is, let's get the facts out. The American people have a right to know what happened. That's what our hearings are trying to do, produce information so people can make a judgment. Were there laws violated? Should people be held accountable? I think the answer is yes. Do you think, and this will be my last question, that the hearings may need to be extended further than we thought into next year, for example? I don't think we need to answer that question yet. The Senate uh, gave us a mandate of one year. I think we should try to meet that goal and we should work hard to do it. That's what my attitude is. If we find that there are serious matters that have not been covered that should be dealt with by our committee, then I would support extending it. But I don't think we should argue for that now. There will be much more to report on the Democrat fundraising scandal in the coming weeks, and we'll have details for you right here on Rising Tide. And